This is Paul McKenna for PT Box and I'm here today down in Manchester. Hey, hey calm down. <laughs> down in Manchester with me, uh, trainer Dave Caldwell. How are you, mate? Okay, good. Good, mate. You? I'm fine. Uh, obviously, it's day four, Carl Frampton Scott Quick press conference uh, on the undercard. Packed, stacked undercard as we've just had uh, the first press conference then. Uh, chief support yeah. in Gavin McDonnell, fighting a, a tough kid, uh, 15 and 09 stoppages. So, coming to win, it's going to be a, a good dangerous. fight for Gavin Saturday night. He's a dangerous kid. Mm. You know, he, he can. Punch. Yeah. Uh, like I said in a press conference, people's legs do funny things when he hits them. Yeah. Um, just gotta make sure we don't get it. Mm. Uh, no, Gavin's Gavin's in good shape. Yeah. He's, he's, he's focused. He's been training really, really well. Mm. Uh, so I'm I'm happy with where we're at. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, uh, I've I've actually seen the clip. I think that you're talking yeah. about where. Once he hits that guy, it's yeah. just like he, 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 yeah. goes, and, see, he goes and goes. It doesn't matter what, what sort of level um, guys are at. Mm. If, if you can do that to somebody, that means you can punch. Of you can generally punch, you know. And it is, like, yeah, he's got a good record nine, nine knockouts out of his 15 mm. wins. Um, obviously, very confident. Come yeah. here. He's one of these guys that just turns up, I'm going to knock you out. Yeah. So that. And, mm. You know, that's, that's what he believes, and that's what he's going to be he's gonna be trying, trying to yeah. do. You know what, I didn't really expect them to be like that as well normally, but you know, with the foreign guys coming over, it's one or two ways they're either quiet or they come confident, and uh, he looks supremely confident, and he kept mentioning Josh Warrington as well, so I think at one point he actually had to ask what his name was as well, I didn't quite get that, he was yeah. like, what's his name again? I think, I think apparently from what I can gather, he was going to fight Josh Warrington okay. in December, as he mentioned a few times, that's why he kept re referring to yeah, December. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but uh, for whatever reason, that fight didn't happen. Mm. He's... He is a superman, mate, mm. and uh, I think he's, he's just he's still chasing that fight. Mm. I, d I don't know why he'd want to chase that fight if you know you're winning a WBC silver and you you, you want to eliminate it for a WBC world title. Yeah. Maybe does that mean that he's he's tight at the weight, that like superman mm. weight? Is he struggling to make superman weight and he yeah. can't wait until he moves up? Mm. But maybe I don't know. Yeah. As far as it goes in the undercard, have you got any other any other lads on the undercard? No, um, I work with Adam Booth with, with Ryan Burnett. Okay. Um, so we've got Ryan on. Mm. Um, not here today though, is he? No, he's not. He's not here. Um, I don't know that uh, the running order as in time schedule whether I can do Ryan's corner or not with mm. Adam. Um, Gavin. Yeah. Um, we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Ryan going out there. But, you know, it's another step up for Ryan. Definitely. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. That's it. And a little chat on obviously a few of the lads in the gym. Tony Bell, you first of all. I spoke to him. You know what? I've got a I've got a long interview with Tony from a few weeks ago, and it just they won't let me upload it. Why? I don't know. It's it, it's just it's only that, that that that's the only interview that just what it won't happen. But I'm gonna See, try and sort it. There's but... a lot of red tape now. Is you know after three, there's a lot of red tape. <laughs> get to just get these videos out. Yeah, but um, I was speaking to him about the potential fighting in Goodison and maybe May time. I think it was, and obviously he wants his next fight to be to be for a world title. Obviously, yeah. so. It's still being obviously in the gym ticking over and yeah, uh, it's ticking over. He's back. He's back boxing camp wise uh, mm. next week. Yeah. Um, I just want things sorted for him. Any um, news for us or no? Or in boxing, it's it's never straightforward. Yeah. Um, um, this is this is one of those cases where it's just not quite straightforward. Yeah. You've got to wait on other people to 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 sort things, and then they've got to wait for other people to come back to you. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's a big way in gaming boxing. It's not as straightforward as what what people think. It's not just. Um, the fighter to manage the promoters. You're looking at the opponents, the mm. venues, and you know there's all sorts of different yeah. things. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully it gets sorted. Mm. Obviously, your latest recruitment being another scouser. You're, you're loving the scouts, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I know, too many. <laughs> um, so I think David I've got, Price, I've got, yeah. I've got an Everton, Everton man and a, and a, a Liverpool, Liverpool man. Yeah. yeah. Um, how's things going with David up to now? Yeah, yeah. Um, enjoying it. It's. Uh, it's nice when you see changes in fighters yeah. quick. Um, and we've seen changes in him. It's a little bit like uh, it's a little bit like Gavin. Yeah. Gavin came and he, you know, showed a lot of changes because they give yeah. they give hundred percent on, on you know, every little detail. Mm. Um, so you know he's uh, he is he's adapting to it well. Mm. His, his confidence is, is getting there now. He's starting to become you know more more believing in maybe he's more in a belief stuff. than anything. He's starting he's starting to develop it now. Um, his demeanour is all changing, mm. um, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to uh, you know, the next few months and yeah. seeing where it, where it goes. Where you know, he's, he's got all the potential in the world. Um, mm. He's just, he's just a guy that is such a lovely guy. That yeah. is a lovely guy in the ring. Yeah. 
because he's got no vicious intentions. Yeah. That's got to change, and that's mm. what I'm looking at changing. You know, mm. I want him to, I want him to go out there, I want him to break people's noses with his jab. Mm. You know, I want to, yeah, I want to have bad intentions yeah. and knock people out clean, mm. and not just throw his right out. Yeah, punch through him and, and, mm. and, and do some damage because he's, without doubt, if not the one of the biggest punches, biggest yeah. punches in every way definitely, boxing, definitely. You know, worldwide it can mm. genuinely genuinely punch and mm. everybody will tell you that yeah um, and he's been doing that without having any intentions behind it mm. so if you can put that in him and make a few little changes as well technically then mm. you know it's going to be to be interesting okay mate well um Besides that, I think we just had the door shut yep. on us, so we better get in there yep. and uh, watch the rest of it. So, cool. thanks for your time today, Dave, and we'll catch up with you soon. <laughs>